<sighs> Good morning, internet. Uh, mm, this is not so burned in here, and uh, today I thought, well, as I was going to do my workout, I thought maybe we could check out uh, this neighborhood that everybody has been requesting so much. So the neighborhood is uh, right over there. It's uh, Quartier Miroir, as most of you know it, but Quartier Miroir does not officially exist. It's called uh, Quartier Kayange, Kayange, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So let's go check out the neighborhood. Uh, it, this is about like my third time exploring the neighborhood, so I am not that uh, well acquainted with the roads. So we will be initially exploring it together at once. If we get lost, well, hell, it's an adventure, but yeah. All right, let's get going. Uh, so that intro that you guys just saw, it's basically something that I recorded about three days ago. Well, actually, this is day number four. I recorded on the first day only to find out that there was a mist that developed on the, uh, the lens of the camera. And so that particular footage was rendered useless. And then on the second day, as I was recording, while placing the camera on the helmet, I came to find out later after recording when I'm editing that the camera angle was a little too lean to the right side. And so that footage was rendered useless again. Yesterday it rained, it was a bit dark so I couldn't come over. So this is day number four. So welcome to the channel guys. Do not forget to subscribe and leave a like. If you like the video, that is, of course. And other than that, we are in the neighborhood today. Hopefully nothing goes wrong this time where I am forced to record the video the third or fourth time because that would suck, really, really suck. But yeah, let's take a left and when the, uh, when the buildings begin to show up, we will switch the camera angle. Let's turn right here. And a disclaimer to something that I said last time. Okay, not last time. See, <laughs> a lot of times elapsed. I keep thinking in the past, but for you guys, it's just one minute ago, which was in the intro video. So I said that uh, Cartier Miroir did, did, did not officially exist, on paper that is, and said that it was rather known as Cartier Kayange. Kayange. Well, I'm going to need you guys to scratch that because uh, I haven't confirmed it yet, but it's somebody that told me that. An elderly person. But either way, just for the meantime, let's assume. Uh, let's just treat it as uh, extra info that you guys get to have. So let's switch the camera angle and then move on a bit further. Be right back. Mm. So like I said earlier, this is uh, thirty-five percent of the neighborhood is complete, and the other seventy-five is still on construction. Seventy-five percent of the neighbor, oh, twenty-five, seventy-five. Seventy-five percent of the neighborhood is still under construction. A lot of the land is uh, still empty, empty, but but most likely already bought out. So, if you were to buy land in this area, you would be buying it from 
a person that already owns it and wants to give away half or wants to sell the entire plot completely for many various reasons. It could be that he has abandoned the project that he had or that was always his initial plan or he's already started construction but is unable to finish it could be a whole bunch of reasons why someone could be selling but yeah that's one of the reasons why you might be able to buy land here so i'm going to be recording for about 30 to 35 minutes well i don't know i record until the camera completely dies out and then I will decide what the rest, what else happens during uh, editing. A lot of the houses being built here are being built in a modern way. Really, really huge compounds. Houses are not as packed as the ones in Kigobe are. <laughs> and that's mostly due to the reason because uh, the neighborhood was initially meant for uh, diplomats, embassies. A lot of embassies were given land to build in, in this area. And so when 2015 happened, uh, for those of you that know, 2015 was um, an attempted coup. When 2015 happened, uh, many of the embassies abandoned their projects here. The only embassy that remained that uh, followed through the construction of their embassy was the uh, embassy of Uganda. Which is, uh, okay, well, if we just turn to our left, we'll see the embassy. The embassy of Uganda followed through and constructed the actual embassy. So, yeah. A lot of you requested that I uh, do Kate Kayange, and so I am honoring that request for a lot of you. If you like the video, if you live in the area, let me know in the comment section. Just don't post your address. Don't do that. Because uh, <laughs> people on the internet are crazy, man. People on the internet are crazy. Just acknowledge that you live in the area and let that be the end of that. So as you can see, huge compounds. But then again, uh, this isn't what you should be uh, striving for if you're looking to invest in Burundi uh, as far as real estate, uh, real estate is concerned. And uh, real estate is actually the most lucrative investment that you can have in Burundi currently. Not any kind of real estate though. These big one family houses are not it right now what burundi needs currently in my opinion is the construction of affordable cheap housing what i mean by that i'm talking about like small apartments you know three bedroom apartments small houses that range uh between 150 to 400 thousand francs that's a monthly rent payment. That would be a good investment. That ranges from between $40 to $140 to $140, $150. Apartment rent. So yeah, cheap apartments is what Burundi needs right now because uh, currently 
a lot of us are entering the workforce a lot of us are beginning to figure out life and we are unable to find what you would call uh, reasonable prices and apartment prices when it comes to we okay we uh, we are unable unable to find reasonable rental apartments in secure or rather areas that are close to the city and so most of us are forced out of the capital to go to parts of the city that we do not want to be in okay i see some property developments happening here hmm okay and so a lot of newlyweds a lot of uh, first-time uh, workers in the corp in the corporate environment are looking for cheap and affordable apartment uh, housing near the rest of uh, the civilized society, if I should say so. And so you cannot go wrong. You you will not go wrong absolutely when it comes to building apartment homes. And uh, to my right right over here is the first gated community in Bujumbura all the houses that you see being built in there are sold out all bought by the diaspora he sold out it's uh, a total of 28 houses and uh, I did interview the guy that was in charge of the property development but uh, I had issues with the audio and thus I was unable to keep recording uh, as in oh I mean I was unable to post the video that I recorded this is it it's called uh, CBSU village it's a gated community that, that's already sold out and there are currently plans on the way for building another one just similar to it and so i am currently writing while at the same time deciding how i should be recording because <laughs> uh i don't want to repeat too many scenes i don't want to do that so i'm calculating in my head right now as to how i should uh go about recording as in what routes to take I mean let me slow down for that car to move so that they don't pressure me or anything Whew. And so, let's take a U-turn in a different area. I had already recorded this about three times, but was unable to post due to a couple of uh, mishaps here and there. And the other thing you should know is uh, as far as the road that heads to the airport that heads to the airport or Chibitoki Chibit is concerned this is the furthest the uh, well-developed neighborhood heading towards the airport <laughs> this uh, seems to be four houses in one I could be mistaken but it's no way that is one particular house it's got to be more than one 
and the weather has been unpredictable lately which is uh, typical of uh, December, uh, December the weather has been unpredictable and sometimes the Sun is out and then an hour later it's raining I haven't been able to but today seems like I have good lighting not so bad so I'll be able to record a significant amount of uh, footage today yeah 75% of the neighborhood is definitely still under construction definitely and I think apart from Kiriri this is probably the only neighborhood that is fully laid in tarmac the only reason why this particular part of the road is uh, a little worn out is because of ongoing construction you know they, uh, this basically means uh, big trucks came in here while they were delivering you know rocks sand and all that supplies for building other than that the whole neighborhood is laid in tarmac there is not there is no pavement anywhere in sight so let's take another right and explore some more I wish I had figured uh, figured uh, figured this camera angle when I was recording uh, Kigole the first time <laughs> this is better than uh, mounting the camera on my chest mount this looks like an ongoing project or most likely abandoned so like I said a lot of the neighborhood is still under construction and by the way uh, one thing that most of you should know especially the diaspora that's looking to invest in Burundi as far as uh, construction is concerned you guys should know that um, land brokerage is, is currently being uh, made illegal in Burundi because there's been a lot of cases of scamming when it comes to selling of land. A lot of cases as far as uh, people selling land that doesn't belong to them, people selling the same land twice, thrice to bunch of people only to have cases where people are at loss for money and so as a result and there's been like so many cases way too many cases and so the government is now currently only wants to deal with uh registered uh what's the word i'm looking for the government is currently only dealing with registered um real estate companies so be really really careful when it comes to buying land in Burundi it doesn't really matter if you are dealing with family because man that's uh, money that you worked really hard for it's five thousand dollars to you but that's 15 million here and regardless it's a lot of money it's not money that you would want to go to waste just because of scammers and people that you know People want to have people. They want to get what they what they haven't worked for. So BV, be really careful when it comes to buying land. And I'm not saying that I am in any way putting myself out there as a person of interest or rather a person that she can contact when it comes to buying certain uh, land here. No, <laughs> I'm just, you know, putting it out there, FYI, for you to know. And even if you're dealing with family, do not deal with family members that haven't figured out their lives just yet. Because it'll be the same outcome as dealing with a stranger uh, this is definitely an abandoned project <sighs> yeah. 
we have a clinic or rather hospital here. A lot of semi unfinished houses. Almost every house here seems to be two stories high. Those that built their houses in one level are seems to be going against the policy. Like look at the size of this roof here, this gray roof, like that might as well just be a second level. But then again, the cost is not the same. We might end up making a U-turn here. Uh, doesn't look like there's much to see on this side of the neighborhood, but um, let's have a look. There's not much going on here because it's the end of the road, but let's see what the area has to offer. And so yes, be very, very careful when it comes to buying land. Other than that, uh, land is really cheap, especially for those of you that are dealing in, you know, foreign currency. Those of you that are working in the dollar economy, the pound economy, the euro economy, <laughs> this is the time to purchase land in Burundi. Look for land that is about to be um, What's the word? In French, the word is viabilitisation. Uh, I don't know what the word for that in English is, but I'll post it on the screen in post editing. But basically what that means is um, it is land that has already been uh, officially split, as in the plots land that has plots that are officially split by a by the government through a real estate developer and what that means is uh, the roads have already been drawn out the drainage systems have already been drawn out and the only thing missing is the actual construction to begin that's what uh, viabilitisation means so look for land that has already had that done too There's a lot of people that buy land with the intent of selling later and oh, I guess the only thing you would need is to figure out who those people are. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I will connect you guys to um, a company when I get some time. Maybe I could do an interview with uh, real estate developers and see what's up, you know. Because even though the aim of the channel is to present Burundi to the world and the diaspora at large, I would also wish for the channel to be able to provide uh, meaningful information. Or rather, I would like for the channel to be of some value to my subscribers and watchers. So yeah, I think that would be an idea for the next, for the upcoming video. Mm -hmm. some, some developing going on here. I see apartments going on on that side over there. Seems like it. Semi unfinished houses everywhere.
Now, as nice as this neighborhood is, it's not nearly as big as Kigove is. Kigove is two times the size of this, if not three. But this one here is well developed and well, well drawn out. And by the way, as far as uh, as far as uh, apartments are concerned, I'm talking about um, if you've ever been in India, you know those bungalows, B U N G A L O W, bungalow style buildings. If I get any pictures, I'll post them up. That could be a really good idea for real estate development. You cannot go wrong when it comes to cheap housing, guys. I promise you. You cannot. If your rent at the end of the month will be anywhere between 150 to 400,000 a month, you will get clients and anywhere near the city. And don't look to doing it on an individual basis. Nah. Form teams, man, form cooperatives and uh, <sighs> come through as a team. You know, that way you manage the risk together. It's not really risk, but you know, you develop faster that way. And good areas to invest affordable housing in right now would be contrary to the popular belief, in my opinion, Good areas are uh, areas near um, Cartier Buiza, Cartier Nyakabiga, and Cartier Javé. Because those areas are right in the heart of the city. That's where you want to develop your real estate in. Because it's right in the middle of the city, five minutes away from the city center. 10 minutes from all the major university universities in town five minutes again from all major offices contained in that area so that's where you want to build at but then again because it's in Sava because it's uh, close to the city it means that land would be pretty damn expensive there but it's a worthwhile investment if you think about it big time it's a worthwhile investment huh looks like there's a road over there let's go check it out let's explore the uh let's explore the neighborhood from the boundaries let's explore the outside coming in I have almost already forgotten where I am and where I'm supposed to go, but no biggie, we'll recover. Yeah, let's get into the neighborhood through here. Oh, by the way, let me check my camera really quick just to make sure that we have we don't have any reoccurring problems like we had last time. Because that would suck. <sighs> okay, there was a little bit of mist. Uh, there was a little water vapor spot developed on the lens, but I checked the footage and it wasn't that bad. It's a good thing I discovered it early, so seems like I might be able to reuse the footage to post this particular video today and see so, yeah really nice houses all together it is a well put it is a well put together neighborhood yeah this is from the outside looking in unfinished uh, projects empty land all of that
Oh, by the way, shit, how could I forget this? So, I have um, 400 subscribers on the channel currently. I want to thank everyone that is currently subscribed to the channel. We are making significant progress. <laughs> without even promoting myself anywhere, just it, it, it all seems to be happening uh, organically, which was my plan all along. So I wanna give a big shout out to all 400 subscribers on the channel. Well, it's actually 402 as we speak. We're slowly making it to 500 and then 600 and then 1000 and then awesome. So a big shout out to you guys. Get more people to subscribe if you can. Because uh, as far as uh, my type of content is concerned, this can be, this is, I am consistent with this, uh, with the channel, especially when it comes to videos where I am cycling. I at least post one video on a busy week. And then when I'm not so busy, I'll post two maximum maybe a third if i find the time but two videos a week when i'm not so busy one video a week a must so as far as consistency of the channel is concerned it's not a big deal i am consistent i am dedicated to producing content non-stop four videos a month on a bad month eight videos to six on a good month so this is not one of those channels that will die out eventually after a while, no, because it's all about me deciding when I want to incorporate the camera while cycling. So as far as cycling is concerned, I do that four times a week, but then it's almost the same route every other week. so. I can't record the same thing every time. So I think I've recorded about uh, 20 to 30 minutes of the video clip so far. I'm not so sure, but hell, I won't stop until the camera gives out. Okay, we've already been here. Let's take a U-turn and head to the other side. Let's take a left turn where we just passed right now. <sighs> See all this land here seems like an abandoned project. This one here, <laughs> this is a huge piece. I see two plots in one, could be for sale. I don't know. You're watching the video. You find out, at least I recorded the neighborhood for you. All of this is uh, potentially for sale. I have no idea. But um, all you should know is, um, okay, so I know someone uh, personally that uh, bought a piece of land here about a month ago. He bought it from somebody else, a person that had a big piece that they divided into two. He bought a piece of land for 15 million. Although I am told is not that big, but 15 million in this area, depending on how you develop it. Man, it's a decent house. It's a decent house if you're gonna do two stories high, as in ground floor and first floor. So 15 million is about $5,000 as far as the, uh, black market rate is concerned it's a decent amount of money if you can bump that up to eight or nine then you're definitely getting a reasonable plot size not in the same area different areas like uh Kanyosha heading towards uh Rumonge is a bunch of property developments that side okay so I just want to make sure I'm not lost. So 
see uh, there is a potential for finding empty land in this area. And if you guys are interested in a video that has anything to do with uh, land brokerage, a co uh, companies that deal with real estate developing, just let me know. And I'll maybe do a video on that. And uh, I would love to incorporate Burundian music in my videos, but then again, I do not want to risk the copyright uh, strikes or copyright uh, claims, which is uh, part of the reason why I don't use whole songs. I tried the other time uploading a video, the one of Kigobe, my recent one, and I had a copyright claim, and so a part of the clip went uh, silent. It was just... Uh, footage that was playing and so I had to put a song over the recording which sucked because it meant I had to delete a part of the video so if you guys know how I can go about uh, incorporating Burundi music into the clips without encountering any copyright claims do let me know in the comment section because I am big on locally produced content I would love to support our brothers and sisters uh, support in a sense that I would love to be <laughs> Uh, to be part of, to help in exposing them to the world. I did not mean that in the sense that I can uh, help as far as financial financials are concerned, because I'm not there. I'm not there quite yet. Heck, even the YouTube channel isn't there quite yet, so <laughs> we can't do that right now. <sighs> I definitely think I have explored all that there is to explore as far as the neighborhood is concerned. There isn't any more to see, or so I think. To my left, I think, is an area where we just came from. Up ahead, maybe, I'm not so sure. To my right, we definitely were here because there's a clinic right there. So let's continue up ahead. So this is Kartier Kayange, guys. Um, if I missed anything, I will probably come back to record a second video. But other than that, I will probably make a part two. Because I have an appointment at 12. <laughs> it's 11.35 right now and I have to make five kilometers to get to where I'm supposed to be. And I am late. But I think I've shown everything so far.
this whole area was initially meant to be an area for diplomats. But it was given to private developers because, yeah, diplomats withdrew their plans. So it seems like uh, this road here divides uh, Cartier Miroir from the rest of the areas, I don't know. Because on the one side is a bunch of houses developing and then on the other is um, compounds that do not match the area, so... Let's continue up ahead and see what's up. Oh, there's a school here. These kids seem to be going home. Yellow is a wrong choice of color, but then again, I guess visibility is everything since most of them are going to be walking home. Yeah, scratch it. Yellow is the right color. Oh, there's a church here. Catholic church. Oh, okay. So this is pretty much all there is to the area, guys. That compound right there belongs to NSBU property developed by NSBU, the uh, gated community. This empty land, I don't know. Okay, it says uh, Federation Burundais de Karate. Could they be owning this whole piece? Highly enlightened. Hmm. Let's get in there and see what's up. This is the end of the road. Awesome. All right, I gotta be headed home in. <laughs> I need to be headed home in two minutes. Let's just make it ten. I need to set off in ten, take a shower, and prepare to go to Buvanza. I don't know, maybe I can record Vuvanza too. We'll see. I think I've covered everything there is to cover on Kate Kayange. I have, honestly. This is a school compound. This is another one of those outside looking in. Yep, that's it for Cartier Mirai, guys. I don't know. Let me just give it 10 more minutes and uh, see what else there is to cover. Just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Let's 
Let's make sure that I haven't missed anything at all. Usually we have electrical lines running underneath the ground, but here it seems like the electric lines run. They use electric poles. Let's take a left here. It's one area that I think we haven't covered. Was it, was it here? No, not there. We have been here. Yes, I've been here. All right, guys, let me end the video soon. If you enjoyed, the clip share it i mean part of the reason why i created this uh channel is for people to you know people that miss home get to see home and for those of you that have kids but cannot explain what burundi looks like well that's what the channel is for you don't have to talk much just uh sit them down during dinner on tv play the clips and let the kids enjoy. And if I happen to cover a place that you used to live, tell them that that's their home. <laughs> so yeah. And I try to record all my videos in high quality, so quality is not an issue. The quality is on point. So let's look for an exit and be heading back home. I think I'll branch out on the airport road. Let's take a right. I want to give you guys by, uh, many different angles of the neighborhood. I see huge houses. Please tell me those are rental apartments. Please. Because everybody would be doing the same thing. And if it's a personal house, then okay, cool. But if it's something that you hope to rent out, yeah, well, there's a lot of huge houses here. What are you supposed to do? Look for a client that gives you a million or two million at once? Come on. Okay, this is a refreshing sight. Have I been here? Maybe, but not in this angle. All right, guys, if there's anything that I haven't covered, I'll just have to make a part two. I don't know. <laughs> or, yes, I'll just have to make a part two, guys, part two. It feels like I haven't covered everything, but something tells me I already have. <sighs> Let me look for an exit and be heading home. Okay, let's just peep in here for one second. See what that looks like. 
Okay. A cold new uh Steep in here too and see what that looks like. See everything is laid out symmetrically in this neighborhood. Uh-huh, I recognize that house. We've been here. Let's turn to the right. Cool. Let's head over to the end of the road and call it wraps. Okay, I am seriously really done this time. I'm done. <laughs> oh, well, I am already late to the late to the next appointment. I'm supposed to make it five kilometers in 12 minutes. For those of you that are interested, guys, I am heading out through the airport road, heading back home. The route would be, I will be passing through um, uh, the only market. So if you're interested, stay and watch. But this is a wrap up for me. Oh.